He is having complications. Every time he wakes up, he starts bleeding again. So the way horses decide who the alpha is, the one that can get them to move their feet. His feet are in really rough shape. Looks like he's potentially got founder. They like to test the electric wire a little bit more than horses do, and they'll find the weak spot and then just push their way through. My other gelding would argue and fight, and then he decided that one of the mares was going to be his. So we're up here in quarantine picking up Twix, the little donkey. He is headed up with us to Tennessee Equine today to get castrated. We're dock out for a little while. We're just kind of having to make some adjustments and just making sure everyone gets the medical care that they need. So Twix just got his first set of sedation. We got him in the vet barn, which he was not excited about. Um, but he is getting ready to get his castration and he is in great hands. So we did a quick ultrasound just to make sure we didn't see any um, bad lung changes like pneumonia or anything like that. That was looking pretty good. And then we are sending out a respiratory panel and a culture. So since he just hasn't been responsive to the antibiotics that we've tried, we decided to go ahead and do a culture this time so we know exactly what antibiotics he'll be susceptible to. So he is recovering from his sedation. They had to give him a little bit of sedation to pull the um, eye catheter out, but they did that well. Everything's looking good. His ulcer is healed up and he's ready to get back on the trailer. So we bought, brought Twix up here to Tennessee Equine to get his castration. Unfortunately, he is having complications. Um, every time he wakes up, he starts bleeding again from where they did the castration. Um, but they just came out and talked to us. His bleeding has slowed down, um, but we are gonna leave him here overnight to just kind of give him the best chance of recovery. So overall, it was a great trip to Tennessee Equine. Um, Moon Pie, it looks like she just might have some behavioral issues. Not bad, but just when we see she has like some head swaying and everything, which could be from just years of being a big lick horse and being in a stall. Tucker here, um, he has, we're sending out a culture to just see what antibiotics are going to be best for him, um, as well as a respiratory panel to see exactly what's going on with him. So now we are on our way back to the rescue and we're off to see Spruce's adopters. It looks like Spruce's adopters have just showed up. <laughs> looks like the first surrender of the day is here. We got two surrenders today. We got Buddy. Buddy is 27 years old and he's missing teeth, having a hard time keeping weight on. Uh, they tried to um, feed him three times a day, do different things, working with the vet, couldn't keep weight on him and they didn't want to surrender him. Hollywood Bronco, they didn't want Buddy to be alone, so they surrendered them together. And we're just so thankful for people who surrender our horses here instead of taking them to the auction. This is Snow here. We got Snow in the December auction. She is pretty much completely unhandled. This is actually the first time that we've gotten her in the round pen to do anything with her. So the way horses decide who the alpha is and who is a good leader is the one that can get them to move their feet. So me just being able to move her feet like this, this is starting to show her that I'm kind of in control here. So you really got to pay attention when you're in this range right here because she can turn and kick me pretty easily right here. Now every time she wants to look at me, I might take another step forward until she is about, until she looks like she might be wanting to leave. If she acts like she wants to leave, then I'm going to take a step back. 
She's starting to realize that it's more work to be away from me than it is to be with me. So if you notice that Snow had a little bit of red on her hind end, it's because she had rubbed on some of her red panels and the paint had rubbed off onto her coat. Important when you're doing this too, you wanna to try to keep their head towards you as much as possible. Nobody likes getting kicked. She showed some aggressive behavior, but I kind of worked with her a little bit, made her more comfortable with me touching her. I worked on picking up her feet. She did amazing, and I'm really looking forward to working with her more. So this is Scott. Scott is a two and a half year old quarter horse gelding. So today we are going to take him through the versatility course just to see kind of how he reacts to it and just kind of get him used to everything, kind of like brushing up against his leg and stuff. So just when he goes out on trails, he won't be so freaked out if something brushes up against his leg. Come on, sir. So whoever winds up with this little guy is going to have a remarkable horse. I'd say give him a few more rides and he's going to do remarkably well. My horses, and I usually try to do it a couple of times a week, just gets their brain and everything going. He did remarkably well today. So we have three owner surrenders here. I believe it is two hennies and a jack donkey. We're going to get them offloaded here soon and get them situated. So we just got this donkey surrendered today along with these two hennies here. Um, his feet are in really rough shape. It looks like he's potentially got founder. So when we have the vet out tomorrow, we're gonna get x-rays on those to see what we're working with. The hennies are in pretty good shape. They're just a little overweight. So we might have to keep an eye on them for founder too. We'll see what we can do. Right now we had a little escape artist. We're trying to fix where the fence is down. So that way she won't get back out no more. Well, we're definitely getting that meal moved. We've always had issues with this pasture with meals escaping. Mm. Um, they like to test the electric wire a little bit more than horses do. On, and they'll find a weak spot and then just push their way through. So we gotta get that meal moved and fix this up a little bit. So we're gonna move that meal that escaped from the 10 acres down into our second quarantine pasture. But first I gotta move Rollo over into the smaller pen so they don't get mixed up. So we got the meal moved into quarantine pasture two. That way uh, you can't escape. They like to push on hot wire and find the weak points and get out. So now we got him somewhere more secure. Now I'm heading back down to the main part of Horse Plus and I'm gonna work some more horses. That's, that's the Scott. <laughs> Handsome. Hi. He's very funny. He's got a, he's got a neat little personality, yeah. Hello, cutie pie. I couldn't tell that he wasn't a 10 year old that's kid broke. I mean, yeah, he just, he, I mean, I didn't even notice him offering any sort of like tail switching or like anything that indicates he's irritated. I mean, he's great. This is Buddy. Buddy is a 23 year old quarter horse gelding. You think you're gonna take him home? I think so. Uh, I think so. Okay, they're taking Buddy. We were um, looking for a horse to complete our farm. We have a horse that lost his lifetime friend and we are looking to bring one home for him. Great people, wonderful atmosphere, and a wonderful facility.
he was gelded yesterday and he was bleeding pretty bad. They had to lay him down three times to try to get it clamped off. And they got the bleeding to stop enough where they felt comfortable sending him back with us. But we need to keep an eye on it and see if we can help him out a little more. Nice. <laughs> push it in, push it in. We're in taking new surrenders right now. So we're giving them a booster on their vaccines. We're giving them a microchip and we're giving them dewormer. So we want to label because these microchips um, have the same number that is implanted into the microchip themselves. So this way we can scan them and verify like this is who it is. So we just pulled Donner out of quarantine. Donner came to us in the December auction. He had strangles and we noticed it when we were pulling horses out to get ready for the January auction. So he is all cleared up now and now he is down here with the rest of the horses and he is available for adoption. This is Moon Pie, and I, we are going to try to put her through the agility course or obstacle course. Moon Pie was an owner surrender that we got in February, and she came with another barn mate who has already been adopted. They said that she was a big lick, so here she is just a pasture pet, so she needs more mental stimulation, so obstacle course is good. We have a surrender here. It's somebody who previously adopted from us. Um, they've adopted several horses from us. Unfortunately, this one didn't work out just because he wasn't getting along with their other gelding, but they're going to adopt again. So they're going to be looking at horses as well. He moves really like a Western pleasure horse, mm. but almost like he either had somebody that let him get by with too much. Mm -hmm. Well, him and uh, my other Gelden would argue and fight, and then he decided that one of the mares was going to be his. <laughs> he claimed her and would just herd her and run her and keep her away from the other horses. He, he definitely was like, okay, this mare's mine now because the other Gelden won't let me have any. So this is Rosalind. She rides really well, um, pretty quiet. Just like I said, she's just a touch buddy sour. Okay. The okay. only thing she really did with me is right there, she kind of wanted to go back. Okay, okay. But I mean, she didn't pick up much of a fight or anything. Usually when we get younger horses in here, we kind of expect that they're like, you know, most of the horses we get here are, are older. Yeah. And so when we do get a younger one, we're like, okay, well, what's wrong with them? Like, <laughs> all right, is it the lack of training? Do they have some sort of health issue? Yeah. But like with him, I mean, he doesn't seem to have anything. I mean, yeah. he seems to be well-trained, doesn't have any health issues. So yeah, he's a great little horse. You are just cute. Alright, let's get your adoption photo. They're taking Scott and Cora. The Zex <laughs> is here well, over there and an adoption is going on at the same time. So I'm going to go ask for some help. So there's a lot going on right now. Okay. There's, there's a lot an... going on here. We're planning horse rescue heroes. Oh man. Okay. 
Yeah, but what's going on? Um, so there's an adoption happening right now, and the vet just showed up. Oh boy. So I was wondering if I could steal one of you guys. Nope. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I was having to bring back one horse that didn't work out and swap him out for another horse and ended up adopting two. Trail riding and we'll see. The Scott's still young so what his potential will be I'm not sure yet and with Cora being kind of young kind of nervous we'll take our time with her and see what her potential is. It was wonderful like always. <laughs> So the vet is here. She is going to be doing health checks on the few under surrenders that we had, and then she's also checking out a couple horses in quarantine. So his hoof growth has gone not just straight down, but over. Um, yeah. And has taken over his hoof. You think there's definitely a possibility of founder on those? Yeah, absolutely. feeling her fat right now she doesn't have has as much as significant of a crusty neck she's got little fat pockets you can actually feel her ribs in a good way she's not overly conditioned she's just right her hair just hides a lot of it and I can palpate her spine which is good so your hair just hides a lot of things so you can palpate um, her spine actually well, yeah. and actually when you run your hands across her side, you can feel the ribs, but it's just the tops. It's not like your hands are really going into divots. So okay. she's more of a five, but okay. you have she's almost like a llama. A pack. You have to feel her to know, or say a sheep, because her you. hair hides a lot. But she does look great. So just the normal hoof care. Sounds great. We just pulled a Coggins on him and we checked him for testicles and we do not feel testicles and he does have scar tissue. We checked his age, which is approximately 10 years old. Body condition's good, had a five out of a nine. We're looking at her gait right now and seeing where she appears tender or lame. Coat, I mean, I can see where lice has been, uh, but none appear to be active right now. I mean, you can just pull out her hair. See where this, like she's had a local area of little infection and bleeding and that scabs over. But yeah, the coat underneath is very poor. Luckily, we were able to do some great exams with positive um, outcomes on some hennies that got their coggins pulled um, and good results. So hopefully they will be up for adoption soon and find good homes. Uh, unfortunately, we did have um, to perform some last act of kindness today for a donkey who was severely foundered. Uh, we pulled some blood on licorice today to check for thyroid disease because she's having um, some uh, issues with her skin and hair coat. Also, we did take an x-ray of her right uh, fetlock and found some severe arthritic changes there. So we will be adding pain meds to her regimen to make her more comfortable. We are about to head into town to pick up the corner feeders that we did the fundraiser for a couple weeks ago. We got 12 to pick up today. And we got two in yesterday, so we're gonna be setting these guys up. And we really appreciate you guys donating for this. It's gonna make a huge difference for us out here. So right now we are fixing to back up to the loading dock so we can get our figures. So we got all the feeders loaded up. We only got 10. Uh, we had two donated to us earlier this week. So we're able to save a little bit of money on that, but we really appreciate every single donation that you guys send out to us for these feeders. It is going to be amazing to have these. Thank you so much. Now we're heading back to the rescue. We 
these just go right in here and these have pre-made brackets that those bolts will go through. You don't have to hassle with the hay bags and anything that might fall out of there will just go down in this tub. We could also throw grain down in this tub too. A little better for these guys out here. Thank you guys again so much for your donation to make all this possible. I am filling out my first adoption contract here at Horse Bus and I am adopting Twix. I have wanted him since he got here. So I'm very excited to finally get to take him home. He had a tough time in the gelding process. He was in good hands at Tennessee Equine and he's doing a lot better now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take him home so that I can keep a good eye on him over the weekend. And this is my first moving from looking the, for love to found love, but hopefully won't be the last. <laughs> Very excited. Some of our adopters actually include our employees and being around the animals every day, it's so easy to fall in love. So that's actually what happened to CJ as she adopted Twix. Uh, my name is Megan Sewell and I'm with the grant department. Uh, the grant department, it offers several grants that we fund and um, one of them being the Golden Grant, uh, the Auction Grant, Last Act of Kindness, and what's the other one? Urgent Need. And that one varies because it can be medical, it can be for hay, um, it really goes into a lot of different things. The Golden Grant, you have to send in three photos of your equine uh, one of the face and then one from each side. Um, you have to send us all of the information, the name, breed, sex, age, and color for each equine. It can be up to like 50 equines, I think, on a grant. And then if you're a nonprofit, you have to agree to make a public Facebook recognition post and tag us in it. If you're a private horse owner, you don't have to worry about that. It's really easy. It's, okay. Yeah, okay. it's very simple. <laughs> uh, the map for every grant that we fund, um, we put a dot for each one, and over here is the different colors, and we actually have to add Canada on there because we have one in Canada uh, as of this week, and um, for the month of March, I have 224 pins. I've got to get on that board. <laughs> They get voided if you wait several months in order to get us the requirements. If you um, don't make a Facebook post, like, cause that's in the agreement. Whenever you submit the grant, you're agreeing to do that. So if you don't do that, then we won't accept a grant until you've made the post. So it's not we're denying it, we're just, we have to meet the requirements. Um, the situations are kind of iffy, like we don't, um, send money directly to a private owner we do it to the vet so if the private owner is asking for them personally like we can't do that um that saves us from a lot of sticky situations you know <laughs> my favorite kind of horse yeah. it's not a horse i love the donkeys okay. the donkeys the big ears gets me yeah. <laughs> I